All right, we good? Let's go. Buddy, what happened? What's wrong? What, had a long night? Can't get up, no string? Huh, catching your breath, huh? Again, this is like our fourth run. Get up, get up. We've only run two miles. <laughs> You're hilarious. You see, with me, you know, I can always charge myself very fast, even though I had a long night. I had a lot of things on my plate, you know, from, you know, doing work, all my chores and errands. I'll share you something because this is something that you probably don't have with everything I have given you. Here, I'll show you. Go. Okay, so what I have here for you, buddy, is selenite, black tourmaline, crisk socola, which is a stone of empowerment and eases fear and anxiety. Now, I also gonna give you a smoky quartz, which removes negative energy and increases positive frequencies in your body. And of course, don't forget the red adventuring that encourages self forgiveness and confidence to boost you. Okay, now here. Dig it. We're gonna go for another round. And this time, we're gonna start, okay, at my count. All right, so, one, two, wait, come on. Hi Cancerians, welcome to Cosmetology. This is going to be for the Cancer Rising and the Cancer Moon. We are discussing the February 19 um, full moon, which is happening in your first house or your moon. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> which is happening in the in Ashleshana Kshatra. Now, if you're watching here in Cosmetology, watch the first part at Eat, Read, Love, and let's begin. So, Cancerians, moon in your first house, how it's gonna be, how it's gonna be, okay, and Rahu here, and it's last, uh, last stage, Cancer rising and Cancer moon, this will show you a lot of things that you have been fearing, but the thing is, it's gonna make you more fearful, so that you won't be fearing the next, uh, you know, come spring, so again, what I, what I discussed earlier, because um, this is the first house. A lot of people, probably, you would feel that they were lying to you. And they're not. Um, a lot of people that lied to you, or you thought that they were telling you the truth, they lied. The duality often, okay? So, but don't be paranoid. It's not, it's not the time to be paranoid. It's time to center yourself. This is the I. First house is the I. So what's happening within is what you have to address. This is gonna impact you a lot because it's yourself. It doesn't concern people. It doesn't concern really anybody. But those perceptions that you have, the nightmares, the paranoia, it's all coming to an end, which is good, okay? Because Rahu will, 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 will be out of this part of your life already. But you know how you, like for example, a baby is cute, but did you see where it came from? How excruciating that is? So it's like that. <laughs> so you will be cute. First, you won't be cute because you're in pain. Then you'll be cute. Okay, that's how I would see it. It's a new person that's being born. And it's a shlesha, shedding of skin. A snake will have to change. I'm not saying that you are a snake, but you will shed your skin to be something new. And anything new, you know, is good. Like a new house, new car, new everything. It's always good, right, to have something new. You'll have a new beginning in life besides all those material stuff. You will have a new beginning in life. So cherish this moment, face your fears, center yourself, align yourself, pray, you know, I always say to pray, and, then, and that's the only way anyway, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, then, and then that's where you can transcend. Okay, Cancerians, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time.